Hi, what is innovation? Innovation is a very overused term, but how would we actually classify if we're being innovative? And what part does it play within strategy? In this diagram, we take a look at how strategy that includes innovation provides both direction and motivation. At the bottom left hand square, we can see that businesses that have low levels of motivation and low levels of direction tend to have no strategy. As we move across, businesses that have high levels of direction but low motivation, it tends to be a dry strategy. It hasn't actually inspired the people involved in the strategy to change. Those that happen to have high levels of motivation and low levels of direction tend to have a shallow strategy. It tends to have no depth. You can't pivot or make changes because you don't really understand it. And then the golden place to be is where we have high levels of strategic knowledge and we have good direction and motivation. Michael Porter said that innovation comes from an invention that has been commercialized, something new that has actually been brought to the marketplace and purchased. In this ladder, we can see that at the bottom rung, we have imitation. This is where we've simply taken a product or service from someone else and replicated it into our own business. Whilst quite often we must do this in order to perform tasks, we can't say that we've got better staff or better processes, therefore we are innovative if those things are replicated in other businesses. The second step is to take a look at iteration. This is where we take a product or process and we modify it. We tailor it to match our own needs. Again, when we modify these processes, products or services, we find that we add a little bit of value, but it's not true innovation. It's not stimulating our strategy. Next, we take a look at innovation. This is where we've commercialized something, something unique, something that the customer is prepared to pay for. The last rung of the ladder is invention. Invention's a little bit odd. Most businesses don't dare go into invention because when we invent something, we don't know if the market's going to accept it or not. We can end up having spent money, come up with brand new concepts, new ideas and requiring new markets, and we don't know if it's going to work. So quite often when we invent something, the commercialization will mean the pairing back of that invention into an innovation. Let's take a quick look at a case study to understand what this means. A company decides that they're going to start selling their own apparel into the sports section of schools rugby within the United Kingdom. The first thing they do is they take a look at the leading provider and then try to imitate what they're doing. It has no effect on sales, even though they're cheaper. We give this one star for effort. They have to climb up the innovation ladder. And right at the top, we have invention. The problem with inventions are that we don't know if the market will even accept them. But an invention that has been commercialized becomes an innovation. Starting at the top and going down is easier than coming up from the bottom. The business notices that lots of kids are wearing special vapor rubs on their chest. The vapor rubs are to help them breathe better as they go through uh, this, this sporting event and they decide to build it directly into the garment. The invention is very well received by those in the school's marketplace, but mums don't particularly like it because the rest of their washing tends to smell. So what happens is that they create a cutaway section of the garment and they place in consumable throwaway uh, devices that allow for the vapors to be released. They've commercialized the invention. It is now an innovation. They started off with five stars, they've come down to four, and the difference is phenomenal. An iteration would be where they release the cherry flavor and eventually through the sales cycle, it will become commoditized as others do the same and it will be driven down by price. But while that innovation exists, they have the opportunity to open doors that would otherwise have been closed. They have the opportunity to find new clients that weren't normally listening. They can talk to innovators. 
I hope that helps explain where innovation fits inside the strategic cycles.